Dad, so you're not going to apologize for last night? What happened last night? You were actually 11, not 7. So please, coordinate yourself and coordinate your brother. You don't know half of the things your mommy's going through. You don't know nothing! I understand that one day when I grow up, I will face challenges and all that, but I know that I will handle it differently. How would you handle it when you are grown? At least I will not pour my anger and pain on my children. I will make them think that they are the cause of the whole problem when they are not. I will not keep them in the dark. I will make them comfortable. I will not make them question themselves if, if I'm still their mother or just a monster. I just had a verse though. Did she say anything to you? Trust your daughter to say something to me. You're not trying to replace my mother, but you're in a kitchen, cooking. No matter what you do, I will not like you. It will not work. Those kids are a whole lot of me. They opened my mouth. They were actually checking me out. There is no part of my body they didn't check out today. Even my armpit. Jesus. Mommy, you okay? Your child poured water on me. The next time I'm going to receive this kind of call, you won't like what I'll do to you. That you won't even want to hear my own side of the story. I've told you the best way to show that person you are wiser, well trained, is to walk away. But obviously you choose to be violent all the time, just like your mother. Well, thank God the both of you are on holiday. A few weeks from now, we'll be moving over to his house. For what, mom? They're okay. coming to this house. You heard me. I don't want to step mom. You don't want to step dad. I was thinking maybe we should, you know. So you're trying to say we should do this together. I mean, we, we, we'll do more if we're together than apart. You see.